All right, uh, today uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of BWISE explaining. BWISE is a program with blocks and uh, I'm gonna do a, a demonstration with a keyboard with some sounds. Uh, this is uh, program where the, uh, the blocks have mathematical meaning in this case I mean so it's like this this block is uh, a multiplication block so it does uh, one number times another number in a mathematical language and this program, the BWISE program I wrote, makes sure that the, uh, the formula of, in this case, a multiplication, gets uh, passed to a mathematical language called Maxima, which is like Mathematica, but a bit different and open source and free. And this particular MULT11 block is uh, is the output of a mathematical chain representing a formula and that formula is going to be a sound. Actually this formula here mult 11out in a sense gets uh, changed in a f into a Fortran program and that Fortran program is then playable by the keyboard as if this formula is detunable by the keyboard keys polyphonically and gets then efficiently compiled into uh, by the GNU compiler into a double uh, floating point double sized 64 bit floating point uh, piece of program that's ge that's getting linked with another program which does the playing in this case I take this uh, only this block here let me do that again. See it happen. Close that one. So this is the output. This multiplies with a constant. The B is a constant. You can see that here. Uh, B equals one fifth. So that's like not to overdrive the output. And mult six. Mult six here is. Uh, a sinusoidal uh, wave. So the output is a multiplication of a, f of a constant factor and a sine wave. Sine wave 2 times pi as, a, as an irrational number. Irrational number is uh, percentage pi 440 and then x. x is my time variable. It should be t maybe. But x is uh, detuned so it's uh, you know, A uh, single stride, double, what is it? Well, the standard A is supposed to be 440 hertz in this case. And the program that I made uh, makes it possible to, to take this block and compute back what's connected. I'll demonstrate that graphically by saying select all left. So this one itself and what's left, namely, uh, on the input side so always this is the output and this is the input on the right side is the output the left side is the input of all blocks so it doesn't matter if I would do it this way of course but this is input and that gets connected with this output so it goes this far so this output also splits out here but we don't notice that now I only take this output and that is the sine wave unselected if I press run up here, then the uh, there's a quick, probably you can't see that going green here to here. Let me do that. Yeah, it's hard to see. And to here, but it doesn't matter. And if I tie and do make here on the, on the top menu, then it starts making my program. It's visible in the window. Let me see. It goes, starts on, so, so the program with a single sine wave, normal volume, 
has now been started, so if I play a note, I have a sine wave. If I play another one, I have another one, and another one. There's not really an envelope, it starts uh, at the sign uh, equals zero point and it releases a click. Just where it happens to be in the tone. There's also pitch band works. Of course, I can make more complicated formulas. In fact, I can even make them with a menu like so. If I could make another sine wave by doing this menu here. Uh, sine, max sin, that's called. And then if I release here, it creates a new block, which is also a sine wave. If I inspect it, it's also a sine wave. Oh, let me not use this one, I had made one already. But now I multiply the sine wave, I break the wire, clicking wire on top, and I make this one green. Now the green and the green will be connected by the wire command. And this here is a multiplication. mill out in zero times in one and the other input is an exponential uh, one times one minus percent e means a bit small probably uh, to the power of minus 32x, or x is the time, and percent e means uh, the natural number e, and uh, so I multiply the e power with the sine wave, and that gets multiplied and then goes to the output. I'll do run first, run button. Um, now I should be able to see the output here, which indeed says a sine wave times an exponent. Some braces, doesn't matter for maxima, but make sure that all the terms are right. Maxima is a, maxima, is a mathematical, <laughs> mathematical, mathematical program. So it makes no brace errors, so you make sure all the braces are right, then it will be okay. So here we have the e power factor with a constant 1, and here's a 1 fifth factor, just a multiplication, which gets passed to maxima as 1 fifth, not as point, uh, 0.2. This not, this is 440, so that's like a floating point number. Um, which mixes with the formula. So when maxima gets this formula, with here a sine is 2 times pi, etc. At first it does nothing, it just leaves it as it is. I mean, in the meanwhile, start up the corresponding sound program automatically. Max maxima, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, the mathematics program called maxima will uh, understand pi and will also understand the number 440.0 and can compute with both and also can mix both and can make uh, for instance uh, differentials or integrals or simplifications trigonometrical uh, simplifications can you know get things out or in braces etc etc so now we have an exponent so it should uh, in this case, the exponent comes up like uh, like this, so the tone is getting slower now.
Oh, you couldn't see that. And and the end is still abrupt as it were because it has no release. Of course, there are also more complicated uh, formulas I could render. So I could connect this block at the end of this complicated graph here. which has a sine exponent as a basis block. Which gets added here, which is a sine times an exponent like this, like the other one I mean. It gets added in this block, and then there are a lot of those factors coming together. And there's modulations in there, so this block has all kinds of inputs. And uh, they're used like harmonics in an organ, in this case, complicated formula. And there's a V variable there which makes uh, for the velocity sensitivity, so it's also velocity sensitive sound. So if I run and make this graph into a sound, which gets computed per each component in doubles, so in 64 bits, and it sounds like this, for instance. Oh, I had no more notes than three, then the computer doesn't keep up. And I should do simplifications, which I didn't. So it just computes a lot of 64-bit uh, components. It's a big graph. Either. Higher notes, it doesn't matter how high the frequency is, it will always render it right. 